everyone and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I continue to bring accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. The Chevy Silverado has without a doubt been a staple of American trucks for decades. Always having a sharp design and plentiful performance has allowed it to be ranked at the top of vehicle sales nearly every year. Trucks have been getting bigger, prices have gotten higher, but the Silverado still seems to be on the streets everywhere you look. 2023 shouldn't be any different for the Silverado popularity. If you're loving the design and want to know more, then stay tuned. Today we'll look at the different trims and details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. For this information in today's video come direct from Chevy or from Car and Driver. Let's dive in. 2023 1500 will come in many different trims. WT, Custom, LT, Trail Boss, RST, LTZ, High Country, and the Mighty ZR2. The work truck will start off at 36645, working your way all the way up to the ZR2 71545, or that top luxury trim high country at 63945. So hopefully, even though those end at a high price, one of those trims in the middle that you like and that you can afford. You get engine options, and you'll have four this year from Chevy. 2.7 liter turbocharged four-cylinder, gives you 310 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. 5.3 liter V8 gives you 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. The biggest 6.2 liter V8 will give you 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. And the upgraded 3 liter turbocharged inline six diesel Duramax will give you 305 horsepower and a mighty 495 pound-feet of torque. The 2.7 liter will come standard on the WT and the Custom, and the ZR2 comes standard with the 6.2 liter V8. The 2.7 liter will be paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. The rest have a nice smooth 10-speed. Four-wheel drive will come on these, obviously being trucks. Two-wheel drive can be configured, though, in some situations. Looking at MPGs, 2.7 liter does okay at 20 city and 22 highway. The 5.3 liter V8 doesn't do too great at 16 city and 22 highway, but just slightly better than the 6.2 liter V8 at 16 city and 21 highway. Your best bet will be the diesel at 23 City and 33 Highway. If you offer that ZR2 uh, with its rugged package, you'll be all the way down at 14 City and 17 Highway. Let's take a look now at some pictures while we discuss some of the features uh, of this truck. This design has grown on me since it first came out, but I still only really like the look of the Trail Boss and the ZR2, given they're all beefed out and have the rugged looks. Um, the other trims don't really have the appeal to me as those two do, but Obviously, they're still very popular, and everybody has their own opinion. Um, the diesel comes into 2023 with more horsepower and more torque. Um, that's definitely appealing if you want to go down that road with a diesel. Uh, Duramax has a great reputation. The truck is reviewed to also have very good handling and good brake response. So in terms of performance, just on the basics, it's said to do quite well. Uh, you know, the Trail Boss seems like it's the one that you see everywhere. Uh, it's the most affordable way to get off-road capabilities and looks as it has a two inch lift and 33 inch off-road tires it is capable of doing some you know minor off-roading nothing too crazy but still looks cool and you, know, you get decent gas mileage for for the look of it but not great the zr2 gives you more off-road capability but mostly in the form of under protection um, mostly this trim is viewed as an overpriced trail boss and i actually do think in, in fact that's true the ultimate off-roader is going to be the ZR2 Bison, and that is worth the added cost. I, in my opinion, that's specifically engineered for overlanding. If it were me, I would go with the Trail Boss over the ZR2. And if you're really thinking about going off-roading, then just splurge and go with the ZR2 Bison. The remaining trims offer more classy looks with a lot more chrome and less aggressive features. The WT is a very basic looking and not too attractive, but its purpose is to be the cheap bare bones option, which it serves that fine. This has a max towing of 13,300 pounds. You get a multi-flex tailgate and many different bed lengths to kind of customize to what you want. If you care about the interior in particular, the LT is probably the best bang for your buck as it offers more nice standard features. The inside isn't quite as important to you and you just want a slightly nicer truck in the lineup. It's still a decent interior. The Custom is probably the best uh, for you and it's honestly quite affordable for what you get. Look at the interior now while we discuss some of the features of that. Uh, the niceness and quality of the interiors is largely dependent on the trim you get and the amount of money you spend. 
the WT gets you the absolute basics of a vehicle. You know, everything is manual and really nothing feels special. Uh, smaller screens, everything like that, real basic. Um, the design really steps it up once you reach the LT. It has a more sophisticated dash design, far larger screens. The high country could be considered to be the nicest interior with its leather seats and wood accents. Um, the back seat on these is spacious, but said to be not too comfortable. When it comes to tech, like I mentioned, WT has a smaller 7-inch infotainment screen. LT and UP have a much larger 13.4-inch infotainment, almost twice the size of that base trim. Uh, so that's a huge appeal just to spend a, a little bit more money. Uh, they all have a nice size digital gauge cluster, though, um, so you can see all your information clearly. Uh, the truck has a five-star safety rating, which is great. Numerous driver assist, technology, and safety features available. Overall, very nice interior. If you start above the WT, interiors have definitely become more important in trucks, so it's good to see Chevy staying up to par with the times and the competition. Review guys, the Silverado is obviously still getting the business done in 2023 with the 1500. Um, you, know, you see this thing everywhere. You see all the different trims, especially the Trail Boss. Um, but it's just a solid looking truck. It gives you the performance you want. You have the engine options. Um, you know, everything kind of you can customize to what exactly you want. And you don't get much of that on other vehicles. Chevy's always kind of been ahead of the game with that, and they continue to do it. Uh, and if you don't like this design, you have plenty of other truck options you can go with. Um, but, you know, there should be one in the lineup for everybody and an engine option to go with it that you like. Hopefully a price point as trucks have gotten way more expensive. But honestly, if you don't like the prices of these, size trucks now almost reach the size of full-size trucks they used to be. So you can go down that road if this is a little too much. Hopefully this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Best Car Review. Please subscribe if not already, and I'll catch you on the next Best Car Review.